hey guys oh, welcome back to my channel it's jazz happy saturday to everyone hope everybody is staying safe if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel i created this really pretty purple halo eye look using the jeffree star bloodlust palette if you want to see how i got this look please keep on watching don't forget to subscribe and let's get on with the video this is the outer packaging it feels very soft very heavy and like good quality and then this is the inside of the palette very pretty i'm going to prime my eyes first using the anastasia eye primer and to apply that i'm taking my morphe m167 flat brush going in with my finger just to really make sure everything is pressed in a little bit of product does go a long way with that primer by the way now i'm going in with the kylie christmas fluffy brush and i'm taking in the your majesty shade and it's a white matte shade out of the palette and i'm going to set that primer so the first shade i'm going in with is vivid moon and it's like a light pastel purple in the palette it's also a matte shade and i'm going to be placing that color in the inner corner of my eye in the outer corner leaving the middle of my eye empty and the brush that I'm using to apply that is actually from the Sigma and Trend Moon collection when it came out with the Trend Moon box. And it is the E25 blending brush. This shade is very pigmented, so I'm going to slowly build it up. And I'm packing it on, but also trying to blend it out a little bit. I really want to get this color intense. This is actually going to be working as my transition shade that I will slowly go into a darker shade. But again, since I kind of want to do a halo eye, I'm just placing the shade on my inner part of my eye and the outer part of my eye. Again, leaving the middle part empty. So far, I have not had any fallout on my face or any kickback in the palette just for the ones that do want to know because I know some people do not like that. I guess as long as it's blending, that's fine with me, um, but so far this shade has not had any and just a first impressions on these brushes just because I haven't really mentioned them since I got them. This really does blend out my shadow and really pack on the shadow, so so far I am liking this brush. Do any of you guys own this palette? Were you guys able to get it? I know he had a restock recently um, with, I think, just the palette. I'm not sure if it was the whole collection, but this palette was a little bit pricey. I can't remember if it was just as much as the Blue Blood palette or if it was more. They are a little bit more expensive, but they are very good quality, and the packaging is just amazing. He does really good with his packaging. I want to say it seems like there's less eyeshadows in this palette than there is in the blue blend. I don't know why. It just Maybe it's just the layout of this palette. But again, this palette is very pretty. It's like a soft, velvety cover on the outside. And it's shaped differently. It's not like your normal square box type of shape. Okay, so I want to add a little bit more of a darker purple. And I'm going to go in with the shade Blood Queen, and it's just about two shades darker than Vivid Blood. Also a matte shade, and I'm going to be using the same Trend Mood blending brush. Going to pack it in the same areas. It is okay if you get the middle part of your eye just a little bit messy. You can always go back in with your primer or concealer. So it does get a little bit messy when I'm blending, but again, I will go up and clean that later before I apply that middle shade. These shades are actually pretty bright. This one's also pigmented, so I just go in with a light hand. But I had no trouble blending this one out at all. And I didn't have any kickback or fallout with this shade either. What's crazy is purple is one of my favorite colors, but I really don't own a lot of purple apparel to wear. So this is like my excuse to do a purple eye look, just to do a video for you guys. I do go back in with that Kylie brush just to blend out these shades and make sure everything is blended. After everything is blended, I just go back in with the shade that I need a little bit more of. So I'm going back in with Blood Queen. Now with a Morphe M505 brush, I'm going to darken this halo for eye. this halo eye. And it's called Dungeon. And it's a dark plum gray color. It's very pretty and it's also a matte shade and I'm going to place that on top of that Blood Queen shade. 
I notice I do use a lot of Morphe brushes. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Um, I just really do like their brushes, and they are affordable. I feel like brushes can be pretty pricey, especially some of the sets at Ulta, or even Sephora, I think, is actually more money at Sephora. But I feel like Morphe brushes, they're pretty affordable. I try to get them when they have, like, huge sales going on with, like, 50%, because then it's really worth it. You're not spending that much each brush. Now I'm just going in with that Kylie brush again to make sure everything is blended, especially since I'm using a darker shade. With this being a darker shade, I am having to go in and pack the shade on and blend it out. Just with it being so dark, these shades do um, tend to take a little bit more time to work with. I did have a little bit of kickback in my palette and a little bit of fallout on my face. Nothing too bad. But again, this shade you do have to work with just because it is a darker shade. Other than that, this shade is super pretty. I love the plum tone to it. Very pretty. And especially up against these two other colors. And let me tell you, there is nothing wrong with you taking your time and working on your eyeshadow. Packing on that shade and blending it out until how you want it. You don't want to be walking out the house with some unblended crap on your eye. Unless you're late for work, then that's on you. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but I feel like anytime I do my makeup, even if it's the simplest thing and barely anything on my face, it still takes me over an hour. I can get dressed and do my hair quicker than that. I just don't, I just don't understand it. I can walk out looking like I don't have any makeup and I still took over an hour. I don't know if anybody else struggles like that, but... It gets annoying sometimes. Now that I'm done blending everything out and I got the shadow in my middle of my eye, which is opposite of what this video is about, I'm going to take that same brush that I used with that eyeshadow primer and I'm going to clean up the middle of my eye. Back to Blending 101, I'm just blending out the edges of that eyeshadow. Now, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to try to use Wet Jewel with this brush. It shows a little bit with the brush. Um, I know it's more pigmented with your finger, but I did want to try it with a brush first. And I'm just placing that in the middle of the eye. So this dry application picked it up a little bit, but it's not as pigmented. So I went in with um, a wet brush, just set it with some setting spray. And it was a little bit more pigmented than what it was in the beginning. And then I just decided to go in with my finger. I feel like that just gives more payoff of the color. And this shade is a lighter pink. It's sheer, but it's really pretty. And then I decided to go in with Beauty Sleep, which is a light lavender shimmer shade, and place that on top of that Wet Jewel shade. Here's the part I was excited for because, I don't know, I just thought this eyeliner was going to do it. It's the LA Girl Shockwave Liner. It's the Neon Liner. I took off the sticker. I'm not sure what shade it is, but it's the purple one. So for under my eyes, I did the same halo effect. I put um, Vivid Blood and Blood Queen on the outer corners for right now. And then the same two shimmer shades, Wet Jewel and Beauty Sleep in the middle. And then for my inner corner highlight, I really like that Beauty Sleep shade, so I went ahead and applied that. Well, the eyeliner didn't pop for me, so I went in with ColourPop Creme Gel in Exit, and it's a white one. And it actually mixed with that purple, and it's turned into like a light lavender, which is really pretty. Now I'm going in with mascara from the Makeup Revolution brand, and it's the Blowout Mascara. Applying that to my top and bottom lashes before I apply some falsies. Peep the Bloodlust Mirror. Isn't it cute? It's freaking huge, you guys. I'm obsessed with it. Um, but I did go in with the Lunar Angel lashes at first, and I just did not like how they looked in my end video. So I changed them to the ColourPop Falsies in Queenie. And I liked how those looked better with the look. But this is how the look turned out, you guys. Super cute. I love how it looks with the natural lighting from outside. So purple and the glitter reflections are just so cute. 
but that is it for today's video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up share comment and i'll see you guys in my next video